expect colder conditions as we move into the weekend. Thank you for tuning in to NewsLink Indiana Weather. I'm forecaster Natasha Leland here with your midday forecast. A powerful cold front is moving through the country right now, and some states are seeing some of the coldest temperatures of the season so far. We're looking at 39 currently in Seattle, 20 degrees in Denver. Now yesterday, Denver started out with a high of 81 degrees, but went down to a low of 32. That's a 51 degree difference. That cold front's going to be affecting us, but we're not going to see a 50 degree difference in temperatures as we go into the weekend. Right now, Indiana is pretty comfortable looking at temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Muncie is sitting around 74 degrees right now. It started out as a pretty clear morning, but as we go through the day, we're seeing cloud coverage start to increase. Looking off to our west, we can see that there are some showers and thunderstorms in front of that low pressure system that's moving through. And if you look off to the northwest, you can see some snow showers. We're not going to be seeing any snow showers this weekend, but areas like the Dakotas and Minnesota could be seeing up to two feet of snow. However, right now, we're just going to look at increasing cloud coverage as we move through the night tonight, and we're going to start to see showers pop up as we go through the day Friday, possibly a thunderstorm in that mix. Today, partly cloudy skies, a high around 79 degrees, winds light from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies, a low around 63 degrees, winds in the southeast from 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we go into Friday, we're going to see winds pick up 10 to 15 miles per hour. We could possibly see gusts up to 22 miles per hour. 70% chance of showers, a thunderstorm possible, and a high around 77 degrees. If we take a look at the mid seven day forecast, we can see temperatures are going to drop after tomorrow. A uh, high of around 56 on Saturday and 66 on Sunday. Rain chances are staying pretty low after tomorrow. So we're in for what's looking like a nice fall weather week. Thank you for tuning into NewsLink Indiana. For more updates, follow NewsLink Indiana Weather on Twitter.